quick rundown on a kind of emergency Saturday. Uh, freezing coil inside, no air filter, about three feet of 20 inch, 18 or 20 inch on a five ton straight shot. You could see the coil, no filter in there. So there's no restriction uh, other than that small 18 or 20 inch, but at least it's a straight shot, only a few feet. The supply is big enough, short route, won't go over that. I'm just here to stop the freezing. And I know all these have the ones that were set up, they have leaks on them and I got to tear the system, empty it out and redo the guys who did uh, all the fittings are leaking. Um, but on top of that, uh, what do we got here? Okay, so we got uh, mostly vapor. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Let's see if I can get you closer, closer. Come on. Mostly vapor. And we got superheat 54, subcooling. Around, it's, it's holding around two. It's been running for a few minutes now. I'm data logging it. I'm into minute number, minute number eight right now. It's been running for eight minutes. No, I'm low, but there's also another problem. And you wouldn't notice this unless you knew. It's only 60 degrees outside. You can see that right there. Outdoor bulb temperature, 60 degrees being taken right here as the air enters. It's 60 degrees and it's been raining, but the head pressure control isn't doing a good job of uh, controlling pressure. It's leaving the fan on all the time. Now you can see, you definitely see we're into the freezing range. This is R410. So you definitely see we're in the freezing range down here at 77 PSI on the low side. But look at how low that high side is. And that should be kept up around. Right now, the head pressure control should be kicking in and monitoring this fan and turning it on and off to maintain a higher head pressure. Uh, that's about it. So I'm going to go back there. I got my sensors on the indoor unit. Let's see if we can get this glare. Uh, up here on the roof, we got clouds all up here, so I'm getting glare from 360 degrees around me. And I have to take these gloves off. So here's our supply and return the way it is right now. We have a Delta 30, 13. And you can see I've had that on. We're going in. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I turned out this. We've been, I've been monitoring this for 30 minutes. As you can see right here, it's been going for 30 minutes and we're at 66 degrees in our supply. Our return is 79 degrees. So I'm gonna start jacking this thing up with some refrigerant and get it into some more realistic numbers here. And come springtime, which we're coming into, I'm gonna to have to look into, did that fail? Or is it out of adjustment? Why is this fan going all the time, nonstop? That should not be happening. Now here's another little pet peeve. Everybody likes to buy all these cheap units. These are cheap carrier units. There's no head pressure control. There's nothing inside of them. All these are straight on and off compressors. If you buy something like a Daikin, a Mitsubishi, an LG, a Samsung, anything like that, they come with head pressure controls in them. They have so many variable controls in them, you don't have to do nothing. They're already rated to go down to negative 14 degrees below zero. You don't have to add nothing. But with these things, you're always adding third party aftermarket things. If you want voltage suppression, all that kind of stuff, all that is unnecessary. If you would have bought a good piece of equipment in the first place that comes with all the add-ons and you put your surge suppressor now you have a three phase surge suppression in each one of these units, but you also could put the three phase surge suppression all the way down at your main box, not, not your uh, sub panel, but down at your main box that supplies voltage to all your units and you can protect all your units from surges, voltage spikes and stuff like that, instead of each individual unit. Uh, just a little pet peeve of mine, buy equipment stop getting residential equipment and trying to make it work on commercial industrial kind of applications constant breakdowns all the time all right guys i'm going to come back i'm going to finish this one up